imagine losing thousands of dollars simply because of a tiny unnoticed error in your accounts payable. Sounds scary, true? Yet, it happens more often than you think. Could your AP processes be silently draining your company's profits? Overlooking even the smallest of issues in your accounts payable function can lead to serious financial repercussion, and not a good one. This isn't just about efficiency. It's about safeguarding your organization from costly mistakes that could decimate your bottom line, risking not just your profits, but potentially your own career. Make sure you stick around until the end when we address the one issue that few think of when considering the negative impacts to the financial viability of an organization. And of course, we've got a fix for each of these danger signs. Warning sign number one, an increase in complaints. Have you noticed a sudden uptick in the number of complaints? It might be just more than a little bit more than bad luck. It could be the first sign of a deeper issue in your accounts payable processes. And these complaints can come from anywhere. Don't just focus on the supplier and management complaints. Listen to what other employees and customers have to say about your staff and your processes. You never know where these grievances will lead. You're fixed. Start by being proactive. You should be tracking these complaints in a spreadsheet or in some other manner. Periodically review for trends. But don't forget the one-offs. They could be ridiculous and you know occasionally they are or they could be the clue you need to start digging and ultimately uncover an ongoing fraud. Warning sign number two, too many journal entries or an increase in the number of journal entries. Journal entries are often used to fix mistakes and legitimately so. These seemingly small corrections might be hinting that you have a larger problem because as you know, unfortunately, some internal criminals use journal entries to hide a fraud. You're fixed. Analyze the journal entries used to fix mistakes. If there's just an occasional fix here or there, so be it, it happens. But if there seems to be a repetition of the same mistake, figure out what is causing that mistake and adjust your processes so it doesn't happen in the future. Warning sign number three, too many lost early payment discounts. Losing early payment discounts is just like leaving money on the table or throwing it away. Because if it happens too often, it could indicate a breakdown in your accounts payable efficiency. What's more, it often catches the attention of those finance guys and you really don't want to have them looking over your shoulder at your processes if you can keep them out. Fix. Again, if it's only an occasional loss discount, you can probably ignore it. Everybody loses a discount occasionally. But if you are losing more than that, start analyzing the data. Dump as much of your metrics about each invoice with the lost discount into an Excel spreadsheet or whatever spreadsheet program you're using. If you can identify the reason for each lost discount, mark it down. Then look for similar reasons and work to adjust your processes so that that reason doesn't occur again. But you might not have any reasons to look at. Then take a deeper dive and look into for a common thread. Are all the loss discounters from the same or a few suppliers? If so, are they playing games? Are they from the same purchaser? If so, is there a problem with the POs that they are issuing? Are they being all handled by the same processor? If so, maybe additional training is required. Warning sign number four, late fees are similar to early payment discounts or lost early payment discounts, but on the other end of the spectrum. Not a problem, you may be thinking, because you don't pay late fees, but it is, and you may not realize it. The reason that it is, is some of your suppliers may be accruing your late fees, your unpaid late fees on their books, and then when a vendor credit comes through, they use that credit that you think is, that is really money owed to you, and they're using it to wash away those late fees. But you never know about the credit, so then you never know about the problem. Now, late fees are not a problem, an increase in late fees, if you are intentionally paying late. And in that case, you can expect them. But assuming you're not, What's the fix? Open up a spreadsheet and start entering the data from all invoices that show you owe a late fee, regardless of whether you're, you pay them late or not. Then one by one, identify the reasons that the invoice was paid late. Was it not approved for a payment in a timely manner? Was there an error on the purchase order? 
Was there an error on the invoice? Or did the processor perhaps make a keying mistake or something else? You, once you know what the types of errors are on your invoices, you can look for them. Then try and find a root cause and work to eliminate them from your processes. Warning sign number five, a fraud slips through. Fraud is every accounts payable manager's nightmare. If even one case slips through, it's a wake-up call that your controls might not be as tight as you think, or you have a problem somewhere in your operation. Neither of which of these is good. The fix. The moment a fraud slips through, it's a signal your controls aren't what they need to be. First, you need to identify whether it was an older fraud that you thought you had put controls in place for that somehow still slipped through, whether there was a breakdown in your processes and a control ignored, in which case the fraud slipped through, or whether this is a brand new fraud that you're not protected against. Once you've identified the issue that allowed the fraud to slip through, work to adjust your processes so it does not happen again. When this occurs, this should become a top priority because criminals, if successful, will repeat the fraud as soon as they can because they're hoping that you didn't catch the weaknesses in your processes, you didn't fix it, and they can get some more money. Also, make sure you immediately update everyone on your staff in the company so this doesn't happen again. And of course, share the words with your colleagues at other companies so hopefully they don't fall for the fraud. And of course, you know, I'd love you if you dropped me an email and told me what, what it was, especially with a new fraud, because we're all in this together. And um, if we share the business intelligence, hopefully fewer of us will fall for these new frauds. All right, I'll move on, I'll stop that. Warning sign number six, a duplicate payments, an increase in duplicate payments or other other types of vendor credits. You have an increase in the number of vendor credits you're getting. We're grouping these two together as duplicate payments often show up as vendor credits. In fact, sometimes that's the first you know, with them, know of them. The credits and duplicates should be analyzed to figure out why the credit needed to be issued or why the duplicate payment occurred. While it might be appropriate to do this in a spreadsheet, and especially in the case of duplicate payments, each one should be investigated separately to identify what happened that resulted in the, the creation of that credit. Your fix. First, for the duplicates, review your routines for checking for duplicate payments and for checking for duplicate copies of the same invoice. You want to make sure these are ironclad because you know this is a big problem that we've got right now in the community. Then, do as we've mentioned earlier for several of the warning signs. Dump your data into the Excel spreadsheet and do uh, go through them items one by one, identifying the reasons either why the duplicate payment occurred, the credit was created, look for the root causes, the root problems, and fix them. If you're finding these insights valuable and you want to keep your AP department best practice, don't forget to like and sub subscribe. Your support helps us continue bringing you actionable tips that you can use to protect your bottom line and your career. Warning sign number seven, an unintentional increase in days payable outstanding, DPO, when it wasn't planned. This means it's taking longer to pay invoices, and if you haven't planned on extending terms, then you need to figure out what's going on because there could be a problem there. When days payable outstanding DPO creeps up unexpectedly, it's a silent signal that something's amiss. Miss the sign, and the fallout could be public and painful. It's critical you always identify this early on, as if you don't, and your CEO is on an analyst call, and one of them points it out, like in an earnings call, or some other public venue, the fallout will be a fix. You can start by calculating DPO by processor, and also by purchasing professional, and by region, and anything else you can figure out to determine if this is an issue across the board or just with one select group. If it is with a select group, address the group, the matter with that group and tighten whatever weak processes that you've identified that need to be fixed. Warning sign number eight, an increase in the number of mistakes made in the accounts payable group. You definitely need to fix this before management gets wind of it and sends in someone from outside the department to help you or 
worse, decides that the department could use a new manager. Fix. You may not have to do any research on this, or you may have to do a ton of digging to figure out what's going on. If the mistakes are occurring within your own group, you may know who it is and work with that person, probably with an additional training. But if you don't know, then it's time to figure out what's going on. Now, everyone makes a mistake from time to time, so you need to put this in perspective. But as you know, there are so many places that mistakes can occur in accounts payable that you really sometimes need to do some digging. That's why we've done a number of short talks on the different types of mistakes that can occur in accounts payable and what to do about each of them. We put them together in a short playlist, which you can watch right now using the link that has appeared on your YouTube screen and is in the description. Good luck.